Hello everyone, I am Jum Bharti Nirvan. Welcomes you to join the class of English Literature. As you all know, today we are going to start our lesson number three, which is Olympic Grain. So, the, uh, it is a poem, as you all know, in this poem, you are going to study about a grandma. And literally, this grandma is 99 years old. So, we'll study about the grandma. Without further delay, let's get started. When grandma goes for gold in the Olympic Games this year, she will laugh at her competitors and make them quack with fear. First, I would like to tell you the word meaning of quack. Meaning of quack means shake. Shake with fear. Dar ke mare shake karna. Okay. So in this, the poet is saying that grandma is ready to go the Olympic this year. As she has planned for everything. In next line, she will laugh at her competitors and make them quake with fear. So in this line, the poet is saying that she is good to laugh at her. She is going to laugh at her competitors. Yani jo bhi competitors hai, unke upar hasne wali hai, and they will quake me a uh, shake. Wo kya ho jayenge? Quake ho jayenge with fear. Kyunki grandma ko dekkar wo kya ho rahe hain? Dar rahe hain ki grandma hamare saath khelne wali aur wo har game ko win karne wali. Okay. In the second stanza, she is 99 years old. Fitness year ki hai, 99 years old. But in athletics, she being blessed. Yani, the grandma is 99 years old, but she is good in sports. Everything. She is good in everything. The trouble is she can't decide it which sport she play the best. But here's the thing. कि वो अपने आप को डिसाइड अपने आप से डिसाइड नहीं कर पा रही है. She can't decide which game is better for her. Yani among all these games, she can't decide that which game is best for her. Next stanza, she is such an ace of archery. Here ace meaning is a person who is very good at doing something. Okay. Yani she is good in archery. She is queen of canoe. Even she is good in boating. Canoe here mean is a form of boating where you use a canoe to move along the water using paddles. Okay. Even she is good in canoe. She is tough to talk of Taekwondo and table tennis too. Now here you can see Taekwondo, you must be know how difficult it is. But grandma is good in that also. Yani grandma Taekwondo bhi bhi bhoat achhi hai. At the age of 99, she can play tennis too. In next line, she dominates the diving boat. She trumps the trump, uh, trampoline. At lifting weights and wrestling, she is the best you have ever seen. The poet here described that she is fast in diving boats and excellent in trampoline too. And then in next two lines, uh, it is very strange. We can imagine what speaker is saying that the granny is also good in wrestling and lifting weights. Now we can say she is best kind of lady we ever seen. Hum bol sakte hain ki humne aise lady nahi dekhi hogi. Wo bhi 99 age mein ye sab kuch kar sakte, okay? Next line and next stanza is she speaks across the swimming pool to slake the summer heats. Here slake meaning is satisfy a wish. Apne wish ko satisfy karne ke liye she is good in swimming also. On BMX, here BMX is a strong bicycle which can be used for riding on rough ground. Okay, it is a kind of bicycle. Mountain bike, she simply can't be. Now here the poet is described she is very good in swimming. Or she, uh, why in swimming? Here he described it, why in swimming? Slake, because of slake. She always wants her body cool. Wo apne body ko cool karne ke liye, apne khud ke wish ke liye, wo swimming bhi karti hai. And she is even good in ride bikes on the mountains. And we can't even beat her. Hum log koi bhi se beat nahi kar sakte, itani achi wo ride karti hai. In next stanza, she is highest in the high jump. And a champ at the hammer throwing. Hammer throwing, it's a kind of game. Magnificent in marathon. It's a kind of race. Remar remarkable at throwing. Now here, the poet is describing even in, in a high jump. Imagine a student, an old lady is good in jumping. Even the game hammer throwing. It is a game. She is, she is very champion in this. Okay. When it comes to the race, we can say that her performance is remarkable. Yani, her cheese, her performance is remarkable. Hoti hai. In next stanza, poet is saying that she beats the best of boxing at boxing at the pole. What she is fearless. How fencing, 
is the finest, she is positively fearless. First of all, I would like to tell you fearless, meaning of fearless is matchless. Okay, so the poet is saying here, not only wrestling, even she is superb in boxing. Where it comes to pole vault, she is uncountable, means nobody can match her in this. Her fencing is finest. Uski fencing bhi bahut finest hai and she does not fear of anybody. She is totally fearless. Unne kisi ka dar nahi hai, wo bilkul fearless hai. In next change, she is masterful at basketball. She truly rules the court and equally incredible at every other sports. Now come to the ground games. She is even superb in those. As you can see over here, basketball, court game, okay? So she is master in basketball and all courts belong to her. Not only this, in every sport she is incredible. Yani, ab sare sports ki baat aayi hai ki wo incredible hai. Hum believe nahi kar sakte, itna achha play kar hai, okay? In last time, poet is describing that, but what we find astonished? Astonishing. Astonishing means surprising. What we find surprising here is, and something of shocker means something is shocking for us, is how she wins all con con contests with her wheelchair and her walker. Yani, wo jitne bhi contests jiti ho, kisse jiti hai? With her wheelchair and her walker. So, in the last stanza, poet is describing there, but there's something. The poet wants to tell us that something is very surprising that how she win all matches with her wheelchair and her walker. So what we get also here, what we get, yani she plays all the things, all the games with her wheelchair and walker. And most surprising thing and fact is she plays it at the age of 99. So class, this is such a motivational, such a motivational story. Students win an old lady can achieve everything. Then all of us who are blessed with fine body and mind can do everything, can achieve everything. I hope this poem is clear to you all. So class, for a better understanding, I have a short video of this poem. Have a look. Olympic Granny When we are younger, we can do a plenty of activities throughout the day. We go to bed at night and night and again continue with different activities the next day too. But as time passes by, we grow older. We then start losing our strength and speed. We are no longer flexible as we used to be in our childhood. Let's listen to the poem Olympic Granny by Ken Nesbitt. But not Olympic Granny. Even though she was 99, Granny out all the others in athletics. When Grandma goes for gold in the Olympic Games this year, she laugh at her competitors and make them quake with fear. She's 99 years old, but in athletics, she's been blessed. The trouble is she can't decide which sport she plays the best. She's such an ace at archery. She's queen of the canoe. She's tough to top at take wondo and table tennis too. She dominates the diving board. She trumps the trampoline at lifting weights and wrestling. She's the best you've ever seen. She speeds across the swimming pool to slake the summer heat. On BMX and mountain bike, she simply can't be beat. She's highest in the high jump and a champ at hammer throwing. Magnificent in marathons, remarkable at rowing. She beats the best at boxing. At the pole vault, she is peerless. Her fencing is the finest. 
she is positively fearless. She is masterful at basketball. She truly rules the court and equally incredible at every other sport. But what we find astonishing and something of a shocker is how she wins all contests with her wheelchair and her walker.